Good day students, welcome to math.serve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over section 5.6 of our virtual geometry text on the foundations of polygons. We're gonna be looking at how to name polygons. All right, a sample problem that we're gonna be attacking in this presentation is depicted here. So what is the name of the given polygon to the right? If this sounds like what you're looking for, don't forget to support our channel by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. And we have eight practice problems at the end of this presentation for you to try out in order to demonstrate mastery of the contents of this presentation. To gain access to our entire Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, Pre-Calc, and Calc courses, take a look at the links in the description below or just visit our website at mathgotserved.com. To get us started, we're going to take a look at some vocabulary terms that are going to guide our problem solving process for this presentation. All right. So this is our website, mathgotserve.com. Uh, this is a geometry section. You can see the URL right there if you want to visit this page to access the document we're about to refer to. So we're just going to scroll down to the geometry vocab collection section. Uh, and then if you click on item number 30, polygons. Will take you to some uh, vocab terms that you need to know concerning polygons. We are just going to focus on the first two columns. You can explore the rest at your own time. All right. So a polygon with three sides is called a triangle. A polygon with four sides is called a quadrilateral. A five-sided polygon is called a pentagon. A six-sided polygon, hexagon. Seven sides, heptagon. An eight-sided polygon, like an octopus, is called an Octagon, nine sided polygon is called a nonagon, 10 sides, decagon, 11, undecagon, 12, dodecagon, and an n sided polygon is called an n gon. Okay, so if you want to gain access to this document, you just visit our website, mathgotserve.com slash geometry. Now let's go back to the examples. All right, so the instructions for the examples are for us to name the polygons by the measure of sides, concavity, and number of sides. All right, let's take a look at question number one. So we have a um, format here that we're going to be using to name it. It's broken down into three parts, comparing the measures of the sides, the number of vertices pointing in, and the number of sides. So the first part is all sides are congruent. Uh, in this particular polygon that we have here, are all sides congruent? Since all sides are marked with one tick mark, that means that they all have equal side measures. So all sides congruent is a yes. So what does that tell us? That tells us that this is a regular polygon. Okay, if all sides of a polygon are congruent, then it's classified as regular. If you have um, two sides that are not congruent, then it's an irregular polygon, all right? Number of vertices pointing in. So if you take a look at what we have here, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six vertices. They are all pointing outward, all right? So this ver vertex is pointing outward, this vertex is pointing out, out. You don't have any vertex pointing to the interior of the bounded region of the shape. Okay, so what does that tell us? Um, since there are no vertices pointing in, let's go ahead and write that down. So it says number of vertices pointing in, the answer is zero. So if there are no vertices pointing in, that means that our polygon is a convex polygon. Convex means there are no um, vertices pointing in, all right? How many sides do we have here? Let's count it. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides, looking at the chart that we looked at before. Um, if the number of sides is six, that tells us that this is a hexagon, all right? So what's the name of this polygon right here? It is a regular irregular convex hexagon. That's the full name. Alrighty. Okay, let's take a look at number two. Number two, all sides are congruent. Well, there are no marks here that indicates that all sides are congruent, so that's a no. So since all sides are not congruent, that tells us that this is 
an irregular polygon. Number of vertices pointing in, if you have at least one vertex pointing in, then it's automatically a concave. Cave means it's caving in. If you take a look at this vertex right here, it's caving inwards, okay? So this is the interior of the uh, shape, basically the region bounded by the sides. This vertex is pointing inward, okay? So number of vertices pointing in, we have at least one. That means that this is automatically going to be a concave polygon, all right? Number of sides, one, two, three, four four side segments we have four of them so there are four sides what do you call a four-sided polygon if you refer to the chart that we looked at on our website that is a quadrilateral alrighty so the name of this shape is an irregular an irregular concave quadrilateral Alrighty, so that's the name for problem number two. All right, let's take a look at question three. So question three, same procedure. Um, all the sides congruent. There are no marks here indicating that all the sides are congruent, so that's a no. So since all sides are not congruent, that makes this irregular. Uh, number of vertices pointing in, all the vertices are pointing outwards, so there are zero vertices pointing in, which makes this a convex polygon. How many sides? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sides. A seven-sided polygon is known as a heptagon. Okay, some people call it um, septagon, which is correct, but the more uh, preferred name is heptagon since it has, this is purely of Greek origin as opposed to septagon, which is a combination of Latin and Greek, all right? So what is the name of this polygon? This is an irregular convex heptagon, okay? All right, number four. So we have a little detail here. In this particular polygon, we have a tick mark on all the sides. All right, question one, all sides congruent? Absolutely, the answer is yes, because in the problem, uh, all the sides have a tick mark, which means they all have equal measure. So that makes this regular. It's a regular polygon. Remember, all polygons with congruent sides uh, are called regular, all right? Number of vertices pointing in, there are no vertices pointing in here. All the vertices, all the vertices here are pointing outwards. So this is going to be a convex polygon, all right? Okay, so now how many sides does this polygon have? Well, let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight sides, okay? So if you refer to the chart that we looked at on our website earlier, an eight-sided polygon is referred to an octagon, just like an octopus, right? With eight legs, so octagon. All right, so what's the name of this uh, polygon right here? This polygon is a regular convex octagon. Okay, let's take a look at question number five, all right? So for question number five, we have a tick mark on all of them, and bam. All right, so all sides congruent for this one? The answer is yes for number five because we have a tick mark on all of them, part of the question. Uh, so if all sides are congruent, that means it's regular. Uh, any vertices pointing in? There are none. If you have no vertex pointing in, that means that it's going to be convex. If at least one vertex points in, it's automatically a concave polygon. Number of sides? One, two, three, four, five. So this looks like a, a popular building in the United States, the Pentagon, right? 
So five-sided polygon is known as a pentagon. So what's the name of this figure? This is irregular, irregular convex pentagon. All right, number six. All right, so let's take a look at number six. We have a tick mark on all the sides, just one tick, one dotted line. Uh, so are all the sides congruent? Yes, because the marking shows that they're all of equal length. So that means this is going to be regular. Uh, how many, ver do you have any vertex pointing inwards? Number of vertices pointing in. Well, we have one, two, three, four, five. So these five vertices, one, two, three, four, five, are pointing into the interior region of this polygon. Okay, the region bounded by the polygon. So this is the deal, ladies and gentlemen. If you have just one vertex pointing inwards, it's automatically a concave polygon. But in this case, you have five, imagine, all right? Number of vertices pointing in, since you have, since it's not zero, we have five, that means that this is a concave uh, polygon, since you have these sides caving in type of situation. How many sides do we have here? Let's go ahead and count the number of sides that we have in this um, regular concave polygon, and then we will be able to write down its complete name. All right, so number of side segments, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay. All right, so a polygon with 10 sides, we went over this earlier uh, on the chart on our website, so number of sides is 10. A 10-sided 10 polygon is called a decagon. Decagon. All right, think, think about the word decades, 10 years, so decagon. All right, so what's the name of this polygon we have right here? This is a regular concave decagon. Alrighty. All right. Let's take a look at question number seven. We have two more practice prob, two more problems that we'll go over, and then we'll give you eight practice problems to try out. Okay. All right. So let's look at this. Uh, are all sides here congruent? The answer is no. Why? Because you have at least one pair of sides that are incongruous. Okay. So if you have at least one pair of sides that are not congruent, then it's automatically you have a situation where all sides are not congruent, which means that this polygon is irregular. Uh, all number of vertices pointing inwards, all the vertices here, one, two, three, four, five, six of them are all pointing out. So there are zero vertices pointing in, which means that this polygon is convex. Okay. Um, and then number of sides, let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six sides. So since there are six sides, uh, that means this is a hexagon. Alrighty. Um, so what's the name of this polygon? This is an irregular, irregular convex hexagon. All right, moving along the last one before we give you some practice problems. Uh, so in this one, are all sides congruent, you have a, exactly one tick mark on all the sides. So um, are all sides congruent? Absolutely yes. So that means this is a regular polygon. Number of vertices pointing in, all the vertices are pointing out. So there are zero vertices pointing in. So this is a convex polygon. If at least one vertex is pointing inwards, it's concave, okay? Number of sides, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if you have nine sides, 
that means that this is a nonagon. All right, so what's the name of this polygon? This is irregular, irregular convex nonagon. All right, now we have eight practice problems for you to try out. Instructions are for you to name the polygons by the measure of sides, concavity, and number of sides. So go ahead and pause this video presentation and uh, name these eight um, polygons and then click on the playback button. We're going to reveal what the correct answers are. Alrighty, so here are the solutions to the um, eight practice problems. So how well did you do? Let us know what your score uh, was out of um, eight in the comment section below. And if you have any questions or comments about what we covered in the presentation or these practice problems, just let us know in the comment section and we will be more than glad to support you. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation to help support our channel, to give us a like. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other great presentations such as this. To gain access to more support resources, do visit our website at mathgodserve.com or the links in the description below. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.